I can't believe it's already mid-December and I'm finally getting around to showing you what sold in November for hard goods and clothing in my store on eBay, Avante Avenue. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to share some of what sold in November of 2020. So with that said, let's get started. I bought a bag of letter presses at an estate sale for $10 on half price day. I sold this one letter L for $14.95 plus shipping. And I have more stamps to sell. This Bob Timberlake men's large tall sold for $15 plus shipping. I do like buying the largest sizes that I can find both in men's and women's clothing. Sold this vintage candy dish by Indiana Glass for full asking price of $14.95 plus priority shipping. Got this for a dollar at a garage sale. In fact, I bought two of them and they've both sold, but one here in November and you'll see eventually the one that sold in December. I've picked up a couple of these Martha Stewart DIY Weaver starter kits at the local Goodwill. This one sold for full asking price of $19.95 plus priority shipping. I found this small 9 inch ceramic pumpkin pie recipe plate, you know it has the recipe in the center. Got it at a garage sale for a dollar and sold it for $19.95 plus priority shipping. This, um, this wall sconce was heavy, a little bit awkward to package, but it did sell for $30 plus priority shipping and I got it at a garage sale and I think I paid $2 for it. Here's another stamp that sold from my bag that I paid only $10 and I think I had I don't know, maybe uh, 18, 20 stamps in the bag. I can't quite remember. This is wood and copper. It's a Boston Terrier, sold for $16 plus shipping. This is a little GF Cole pottery from North Carolina that I bought at the local Goodwill. I paid $2.95 for it and sold it for $24.95 plus shipping. I've had the Star Wars shirt for quite a while. It's just a size large. It did sell for $19.97 plus shipping. I was glad to get it out of my inventory. Cookbooks can sell and Better Homes and Gardens does sell well. This is a 1995 10th printing and I sold it for full asking price of $24.97 plus shipping. And I've been sending any books priority mail versus media mail because it's just taking way too long. Of course everything's taking way too long right now. But I'm sending my books first class or priority. I'm not doing media mail. It just takes too long. This is the bowl that sold from the dishes that I bought at Goodwill. This is Liberty Blue Staffordshire Round Serving Vegetable Bowl and it sold for $19.95 plus priority shipping. And it did have some issues. Look at the photos. It has some chips on the back and it did have crazing but it, it did sell and I was happy at $19.95 because I think we only paid, oh gosh, for the whole lot of dishes. It seems like it was uh, definitely under $10. I remember buying this wood salad bowl. It was at one of the garage sales and it's in one of my videos. Sold for $19 and I paid only $2 for it. It was easy to pack. I love non-fragile items once in a while. This was a fairly small nine and a quarter inch long brass oval planter. It did have the India sticker on the bottom. Sold for $18 plus shipping. Here's another Martha Stewart. Same thing DIY Weaver Loom Kit. This one was a sealed box, so we got $24.95 for it plus priority shipping. And if my voice is a little bit hoarse today, well, as I always say, I guess I just talk too much. I love to pick up denim skirts to resell. This is just a Jones New York size 14 mid-calf skirt, sold for $18 plus shipping. I mostly get my skirts at a local church thrift store where everything's a dollar, and I also buy them at garage sales. but. Yes, denim skirts and denim jackets can sell well. This is a Vintage Fire King ornate glass pie plate. I, I picked up two of them at a church rummage sale. I paid a little bit high for these, $3 a pie plate. So I was hoping to get more, but sold it for $14.99 plus priority shipping. These two woofer glass blowing lamps sold for $59.95. Paid $15 for two of these at a garage sale and very happy with this sale. They are also in one of my videos. Hopefully you'll sign up and follow my channel and watch all my old videos. That would be great. These small vintage clip Monet earrings sold for $14.98 plus shipping. Here's another denim skirt size 22W and sold it for $22. Again, this is a used pre-owned skirt 
and it sold for $22. You will always get low offers, but then you'll find that person who's willing to pay more. It's really up to you if you want to hold out or not, but I sold it for $22 plus priority shipping. I believe we found this plate at the Netherland Inn sale, um, really nice sale, Adam's Real English Scenic Ironstone dessert plate with handles, sold for $20 plus priority shipping. I got this Think Geek Laboratory Beaker Mug at the uh, Goodwill store. I think I paid $2.95 perhaps, maybe less, and it sold for $15 plus shipping. This is the second time I've sold a Beaker Mug. They are fragile, so it was nice on this one to have the original box and inner packing. This New With Tag New Directions XL Pullover Top sold for $14 plus shipping. I always like to recommend as I go through my what solds that you take a look at the photos that we take and the titles that we write to give you an idea of how we do our listings. This set of two filigree wall decor sold for $28 plus shipping. I'm not sure if I got this at a Goodwill or a garage sale, but I don't think I have more than $3 into it. So I was pretty happy to sell it for $28 plus shipping. These salt and pepper shakers go back a little ways on my videos, but West Germany, Gorham, Althea Collection, Full Lead Crystal, had their original labels, otherwise I'm not sure I would have known what they were, sold for full asking price of $24.99 plus shipping, and I think I paid 50 cents because I bought a lot of things for only $25 that day. I almost kept this, in fact I did keep it for a while before I listed it, Catania Folk Instrument, little board piano sold for $19.95 plus shipping. Yes, I did have fun playing it. It came with an instruction booklet and I did play piano as a child. I'm not very good now, but I had fun playing around with this before I decided to list it to sell. So yeah, I paid I think a dollar at a garage sale, so I was happy with $19.95 plus shipping. This is an Austria Geiger boiled wool, yes boiled wool, I can't even say it, cardigan sweater. Size 1X, got it at the Salvation Army, I believe I paid $3.95 for it. Yes, I had a crazy price on it of $1.49 because there were some jackets for this brand selling in that price range, but I accepted an offer of $45 plus shipping and got it out the door. This little William Sonoma Jardin Potager dip bowl, little eggplant shape, bought it at the Goodwill for, I believe, again, $1.99 to $2.99, sold it for $14.99, would have liked more. But uh, again, glad to have the sale. I found this cookbook at a garage sale, 1956 Betty Crocker Pitcher Cookbook. I knew it was very old. I knew I had to have it. And I sold it for $55. Yes, $55 plus priority shipping for a 1956 Betty Crocker's Pitcher Cookbook. Keep your eyes open for these. They have good value. This is a size 2X Drama Gold. Never had found that brand before, but Drama Gold Woman's 2X Denim Jacket Short Sleeve, which is unusual, sold it for $18 plus priority shipping. This egg basket came from an estate sale. I had a ton of low offers on this and I kept countering, but no one would pay the price or even come up at all. But it did sell finally for $24.99, full asking price plus shipping. The reason I held out on my price was because I checked comps every single time I had a low offer and I knew that my $24.99 was in the right price range for this type of item. So check comps and hold out for what you know it's worth. In a recent video, I shared where I bought this Martha Stewart from France dinner plates, and I had some coffee cups too, and they were from their Goodwill. Paid, I think, $5.95 for the whole lot of dishes, and sold the plates only for $29.95 plus priority shipping. It's really not much harder to ship five plates than it is to ship one. If you watch my pack and ship videos, so this new tag, new direction, size L, open cardigan sweater. I thought it was really pretty. I love the print. Almost kept it, but sold it for $19.95 plus shipping. This is something I don't pick up very often. 54 piece lot Jenga game replacement wood blocks. That's how I titled it, replacement. Sold them for $18 and gosh, I think I paid $2 for the bag. So not too bad. Here are a few things that I'm calling buy-buy, no-buy that I don't think I'll ever buy again to resell. I may have only paid 50 cents for this spoon, but it wasn't in great shape. Yes, it was fairly large, but I sold it for $6.95. I had it in my inventory for a long time. Yes, I say buy-buy, no-buy to this type of item. 
And this is a little vintage bobber looking tool ratchet screwdriver. I got it for a dollar at an estate sale. I sold it for $9.95. This is a bye bye, no buy. And now I want to show you some items that I've been putting on clearance, meaning I've been selling them at consignment shop prices. The prices that you'll see here are what I consider consignment shop prices based upon what my local store sells these brands for. I want to clearance them out. I'm clearancing smalls through extra large. I'm going to go through these rather quickly. This dress barn size large sold for $7.95. The buyer paid shipping on all of these. Old Navy Active XL Zip Up Vest, $8.95 plus shipping. Disney Winnie the Pooh would have liked more, but I had it for a long time, sold it for $6.95. Rosin Alley, size large, $7.95. Again, I haven't been showing you these sales over the last several months. I've tried putting these items on sale, even 50% off, and they wouldn't sell until I just lowered the price to my clearance price. New Tag Alfred Dunner XL sold for $8.95. Bonworth size M sold for $7.95. Melissa Page XL top sold for $8.95. Apartment 9. I shouldn't have marked this down. This was a mistake. Cashmere sells for more than this. I gave it away at $7.95. Kim Rogers XL pullover top sold for $8.95. Tommy Hilfiger size large button front blouse $8.95. Coldwater Creek, size 14, $8.95. Another Disney Winnie the Pooh, size 10, 12, sold for $8.95. Again, trying to get rid of size small through large. And this extra large, which should not have been in here, new with Tag, Karen Scott. I could have got a lot more for this. I missed a few when I was doing my bulk editing. I should have pulled some. Christopher and Banks, best size large, $8.95. Yes, best do sell very well for me. I've been selling them for a while now. Reebok XL Jacket Windbreaker in Bright Pink, sold for $8.95. And this Du Jour Extra Small. I do not like buying smalls or extra smalls. You know, I get a lot of these in fill bag at church rummage sales for a couple bucks. I don't have a lot in them. Sold this one for $8.95. I have a few sales on Macari. Again, I haven't been listing there. This Vintage Acura Folding Fan Camera Reflector, sold for $15 plus shipping. And a pair of Clark's. Patty Belize size 8M sold for $17 plus shipping and a couple of sales on Poshmark again I haven't been listing there I just don't have time to share everything so this new with tag pullover men's sweater top for $15 plus shipping and of course the buyer has to pay priority and sold this denim jacket for $18 plus shipping my candy chat is coming up on December 20th so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it and you can still send me questions. And I hope you subscribe and join my channel and be sure to ring that bell icon for notifications to make sure you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Simple sales for good profit.